The last section is how you move out a tenant. Um, so at the moment, uh, what we would recommend is you use the Coho email for and CC for serving any information and notices. You can attach the files in there, but that will track that that email, it will be in your inbox as a CC. It will also be in the Coho section, in the communication section as a CC. In here, you can also add public or private things. So public being that that tenant will be able to see. So you can add it in here as well. Private being that it's just for you and your team to see. So you can add it in there. So let's say we have served a notice. Uh, sorry, where can messages be viewed? So um, you'll have a message center at the top. We are actually looking to move this into the top corner. So anybody looking at this in future, look where the mouse is now. But right now, it's here. If you're in a property and you click message center, um, it will take you to the message center for that property. Um, it will be pre-filtered. So if we go in here, we can see here it's it's pre-filtered to that one. So we can see you can get rid of the filter and see it all. Um, if you've got the app downloaded, you'll get push notifications. Um, yeah, cool. So let's say that we are we've had enough of this tenant. She's not paying and we wanna move her out. So the way that you do this, in fact, the other thing I'll show you is how to change the rent, because I know that's something that people um, are often wondering about. So the way you do this is you go up to here, the tenancy summary, and you click. I'm just thinking whether I should show change rent now. I will, I'll show change rent now. No, I won't, sorry. <laughs> um, okay, so you click move out, uh, and then you can set the date that they are going to be moving out on. So we might say that that's going to be on the 16th. You can set the reason that can be tenant removal. Now delete from the system is basically, uh, it's going to remove them from being able to see them in the history, from being able to search them, anything like that. Uh, that's if maybe there's been more of a mistake or something's never gone ahead and you don't want to track it. So in this um, one, we're going to... Oh. I am so sorry yeah. to interrupt. Uh, yeah. I can't see the screen with my calling Ashley. Um, uh, could you... Um, we can't see the share screen currently. Oh, okay. Are... Can everyone else see the share screen? Okay. Um, what I will suggest then is I will send you the video afterwards uh, okay. if you're not able to find it. Thank you. Sorry uh, to interrupt. Cheers. No, no worries. Um, okay. So I would generally suggest only use delete from system if it's if it's actually a mistake. Or, uh, or if it's not going ahead and you don't want any tracking of it. So I'm going to put tenant removal. Now, we can choose to make this room available from that date, or we can choose to keep it as unavailable until further notice. And maybe it's that we're going to move them out, but we don't know what the state of the room is going to be. Um, or maybe it's going to be, there's going to be some maintenance done afterwards. But, um, but actually, we're going to say, actually, we, we've seen the room, we're actually happy, and we're going to make it available from, from that day. Uh, what we can do now is we can cancel any future unpaid rent. So if we're going to here, we can see that actually this tenant's meant to be with us until July, but we're moving them out early. We're going to cancel all of that. Um, we can choose the pro rata, the final rent, which will mean that it will look at December and instead of being um, 650, maybe it's going to cut it down to being 400 or something. Uh, and then we can mark the, we can choose any unpaid rent to be marked as bad debt so instead of that we're going to take these as bad debt and in doing that it will set the tenancy in the room in a state that should have it nice for the next one to move in it will have a move out date so any future onboardings provided the move in date is after that you won't get clash alerts um there is a credit control note section just for you to store anything that's happening across all of the, the events. Um, and the last bit related to the move out that I'll show you is someone asked earlier about looking at the occupancy sort of stuff, uh, whether the room is, what rooms are available and stuff like that. So I will go to the tenant find section. Um, so all of your properties that are going to have a tenant find thing will ask a few extra details. So like what the description is uh, and stuff like that. 
um, and then you can mark the rooms then as available or not. Now, I don't know who's aware of this, but we have a nice way of making profiles for all of our available properties. Uh, and you can see them here, for example. So any room that you have available, what we found is that so many people with professional lets often get the question, who else is going to be in that property? Who am I going to be living with? And we've made it so you can see the people based on the details in your own portal. But if those tenants have opted to have a public profile, they will show up in here. So we can see here that these ones have opted to have a public profile and added a picture. These are completely real listings. This one's got a, a, a basic profile that just says name, age, and gender. And these have chosen uh, not to share. Um, so these can be quite nice to share directly with a prospective tenant to really make them excited about moving in. We do things like uh, you can add video tours through um, Matterport or Made Snappy or this tour together. You can add floor plans and you can add other videos. Um, okay, so I think that mostly covers it. I think there's one other thing actually that's worth showing that some people may not be aware of. You can add a second person to the coho in a room, and that is just once you're in the tenancy, you can add an additional tenant. Uh, you can also connect any tenant that you're already aware of if they're a sort of, you've had them before. Okay, so I think that's covered everything I intended to cover. And with 15 minutes left, uh, I think at this point, if anyone wants to fire any questions to me, if you felt you've learned enough, feel free to drop off and I'll share the video. If I have not given enough information about any section, um, if you want, you can come off mute and ask, or you can chuck it in the in the question section uh, in the chat, and I will answer anything. 